seems to be a degree of honesty as well. Honesty, yeah, honesty. Honesty. And trust. I, I'm afraid Just this trust. is okay. Yeah. I'm terrible. Yeah. I'm terrible. Yeah. Use but, it. But you're on, and you're honest with it. Yeah. So you're not uh, hiding in yeah. some element. Yeah. And so then you've got this strain, all this information that's yeah. not information, but also yeah. energy yeah. that's yeah. caught up in. And then as an artist, yeah. you are able to express it. How would yeah. you share from that experience? Would you yeah. think someone who's not an artist, someone yeah. who who may see and say, well, I have all these things, but I don't know how to express this. Yeah, I think, hmm, I see all the, the, the solutions, let's say, for, for, for all these negativities uh, as energy, I see art. Yeah. Only art can really, because it, it's not a religion, it's not. And art in the broader sense, which also then now yeah. I'm realizing, which is performance, which is dance, which is moving, which is... Uh, you are washing dishes, and this can be your art. So in that sense, I'm talking about art. So, so do you, you mean in a sense of like spontaneity? Oh, no, of, of motivation. Mm -hmm. So if I'm now washing my dishes, just washing dishes. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm cooking, just be. So th this, when an artist do performance, you know, he does many crazy things. It makes no sense. Yeah. But he's so present in yeah. that thing. That makes all sense. People yeah. stop there and keep watching. Wow, that makes sense. But he's not. He's counting rice. <laughs> you know, it but, goes. But it's so profound, the energy. It's so it's profound, the energy. You see, yeah. so it doesn't matter what you do. Anything can be art. So I'm bringing the, I'm bringing the sense of uh, the word art much broader. Yes. So your life like creativity. is yeah, life is yeah. art. So vitality. Vitality. So creativity. it doesn't matter what you do. What you do is art. Be yeah. a performer. When you drink water, drink the water. Yeah. You know, and everything that has this energy, that life makes sense. Anything now makes. If you're sad, just be sad like an artist. Just go into it. You don't have to materialize yeah. like a painting. You don't have like in my way. Then I materialize into painting. Mm. But uh, I, I see that it can be anything. So beyond working with what what we have, yeah. what, what's the element of allowing circumstances? Because you know life isn't fully enough. I mean, even now yeah. we're speaking here. Yeah. We're we're in the heart of Lisbon. Yeah, we are in Lisbon. And out yeah. from the park. Yeah. Next door, there's music playing, and I hear Funky Town playing. I don't know yeah. if the watchers yeah. can hear, yeah. but we have we have the yeah. 1970s greatest hits playing in the yeah. ambiance yeah. as yeah. we sit in front of Matthew yeah. Ricard's work. So there's something absurd there. There's something yeah. beautiful speaking yeah. from your heart, but also it's a, it's a kind of absurd and slightly comic world, yeah. Yeah. whether it's whether there's absurdity yeah. and even yeah. suffering. Yeah, but yeah. we who sees which is absurd? You see, there is an identity that thinks is absurd, mm. and uh, so. We are still grasping to, to somebody who wants appearance, who wants nice, yeah. nice, and maybe mantras yeah. in the back. But so we are still attached yeah. to it. So then our reality becomes absurd because there is funky music. Yeah. So, and which is not wrong too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we can leave the appearance and we can leave the cows and you, you know, everything will be are constructed, yeah. you know, with funky or without funky structure. The whole thing is uh, um, att being attached to this identity. Oh my God! It should be mantras behind me. Yeah. Then I actually, oh, this, this I'm, I'm happier. Yeah. It's funky town than yeah. mantras. I'm kind of enjoying, but it suggests that. Yeah, yeah, no. Time. But your question is 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 good uh, example of being with yeah. the circumstances yeah. and having it not yeah. be the yeah. way we necessarily if, want, yeah. and how much yeah. our life is led. Yeah by having things the way we want. Yeah, and beca because you see, it, it, continue what you were saying, it was, it's like, if, if there is no rigid identity, and everything is, is the divine, everything is consciousness, mm -hmm. then when circumstances are, are bad, in our sense, in our, mm -hmm. Tiffany thinks is bad, then, and if I can um, dissolve at least a little bit, you know, and see that this is also a manifestation of consciousness. Also the cows, because the universe is mm. made of cows. Yeah. You know, it, it's like suns are exploding yeah. and comets are rising. And Not cows, chaos. Ca ca chaos. A Brazilian accent. Oh, cows. 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 <laughs> the universe is made of cows. <laughs> cows. Ooh. The cows would agree. Yes, yes, yes. 
Chaos. 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 Yeah. Chaos. So it's so I think uh, in, in integrating these chaos, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah. Don't try to avoid. I think don't try to avoid. It, it has so much energy, yeah. you know, and we will never know how to do it right because we we are afraid. Oh, now nah, we'll not not um, go into it because I don't know how to do it. Yeah. We we will not never know enough. You know? So each step you do is unknown. Each step you do is a discovery. You know, it's okay. And it, it, There's some delight in the unknown. Yeah. And finding creative source yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. And it seems from what we're saying, as much as you want to delight in creativity, as much as um, this wish, we also yeah. can't always make it sunny. So sometimes yeah. it involves yeah. demons. Yeah. What involves yeah. demons? You're yeah. there. What involves fear? Yeah. What involves they insecurity? Yeah. The honesty. Yeah. And then uh, again, having something to ground it in, bring it into yeah. you. Had the temple yeah. in yeah. in uh, Brazil to paint, mm -hmm. yeah. and so no matter what chaos brought in, yeah. whatever it appeared yeah. like, yeah. Um, so grounding in what yeah. we do. And yeah. Well, in there, again, you know, in appearance, you would think, ah, oh, okay, then this person is depressed. It doesn't matter what people think. It's really. Again, I think, okay, what should save you when you think, okay, I should go deep in my depression and feel what it, this energy vibrating. I think just a real lucid um, focus should be motivation. Mm. Why I'm going deep. Yeah. Why? I want to know my, I want to know my darkness. Okay, I should know my darkness. So it should that should be the at least the start to yeah. save is motivation. If so, anything, anyone who is going down there just yeah. know why. I, and and I need to know the night if I'm gonna really be yeah. able to know my day. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And in the end, is yeah. So so I want to move into mm -hmm. then from this phase. Not only is your personal. Mm -hmm life story mm -hmm. and journey into art. Mm -hmm. So then where did contemporary art come yeah. in? Because your first shows yeah. in Tibet House yeah. were with contemporary art, yeah. is it not? So yeah. through Mongolia to India into painting yeah. temples in the yeah. south of Brazil, who would have yeah. thought, <laughs> yeah. into what, what, what went from there to some yeah. of the contemporary art in, mm -hmm. and, and showing in New York? Yeah, so like I was saying, then suddenly I got the security of, of, of um, being sincere to myself mm -hmm. through Tanka painting. And then I said, hey, it's okay to paint whatever I want. So then I, I was then in this experience of painting, painting, uh, because of the, the crisis in the whole life, that what gave the first, you know, unfortunately it had to be that way, you yeah. know, going down the hill. I, gave me that energy, I painted, painted a lot. I offered to Tibet House and they said yes. And then it was... The value of you know, it was, yeah, it was <laughs> just like that. I never had before a show in Brazil. I had small ones and you know with friends, but like you know big gallery you know oh, okay. so it was meant to be and I, I had big paintings I had no idea I had to frame them just you know it was like 20 paintings some of them two meters but it worked out it worked uh -huh. out and always in the way people supporting very good so it happened that way and then I thought, okay, I want to continue. And then my life started to be so good, you know. Mm -hmm. So then I, I, I met the love of my life, my son was growing, we moved together. So then I was painting, I had, uh, you know, things was, were happening. And then I thought, oh no, but how do I continue painting without uh, the that intensity, is. this energy? Yeah, yeah. Because it needs this. Oops, to I give the spark. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Oh, oh, you know. So, so that my work was focusing on how to how to build autonomous energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as an artist, uh, I can really be inspired. So I started looking to everything that that everything holds energy. So anything, if I if I if I'm open to it. So if I can really bring myself present through meditation. And it can be any meditation. I can feel the energy of this. I can feel the history of it. I can start. Let's use. Excuse me. I can feel. I can feel the energy. Let's see. Rises. 
So then, if you, if you really put yourself present, anything will inspire you. So, and this is an exercise you should do, you know, it's an exercise of awareness and presence. And then, and then I started, and then really put yourself, go there to the studio, draw. Draw people in the street, draw, write, just be like this, be fluent, mm. you know, don't stop. But it, it, it's a discipline, you know. So my, my focus was there, to, to still create with that and still look inside myself, you know, bring symbols. So I started having a series of, um, of pieces of wood, of, of stones, because I look at objects and I really felt the energy. Aye. And then I put them together and that was my second show in Tibet House. Aye. So it was out of a very um, uh, energy that I was just feeling things, feeling how wonderful things are, how beautiful nature it is by itself, you know, putting together. So then it shifted uh, to, to you know, explosion, to then how do I continue this? the energy to sustain the energy and then um, yeah I teach a lot also that's yeah. mainly I wanted to ask yeah, about mainly, workshops you've, yeah. you've been leading some so, pilgrimages to India and you do quite yeah. a few workshops in so, Brazil yeah so of course in Brazil there is not a lot of people doing doing tanka so then I started teaching and mm -hmm. so there's a lot of people interested so my my focus was on, on teaching, mainly introduc introduction in yeah. Tanka. So it's hard for people to have the same time of dedication to, yes. to learn. The, the so I give a lot of introdu introduction. But now I started the online classes, which is good because mm -hmm. I realized people won't learn in one weekend or even in one week. And it comes people from all over South America mm -hmm. wanting to learn. So I thought, okay, I will give all the lessons and you do at home. And now, and I started this year, and I see it's a good result because people do all the exercise, send it to me, we talk on Skype, I, I direct right. them, and it's it's the, the best way it has been done. So, so they the can go all seems to like it's end. become quite a passion. It's really fantastic yeah. to find one's way, but to assist others in finding their way is yeah. like such a tremendous joy. I tell them that it's, it's a real blessing is to have found mm -hmm. that I really, f Fantastic. you know, yeah, it, 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 that it's so, it's so good when you have no doubt, mm -hmm. isn't it? We <laughs> love it. Yeah. Yeah. When I, when I'm in doubt. about bliss, yeah. it's like yeah. no doubt. No doubt. It's like sukha, yeah. bliss in, yeah. or, or sukha is yeah. the original Sanskrit, yeah. thoughts is dukkha, yeah. and sukha is, is no dukkha, yeah. so yeah. no doubt, no, no doubt. suffering. And I see when I doubt so something, my energy goes like. Yeah, it sucks. It's the it's toilet. Yeah, it's the toilet. Yeah. So it's like that. It's on something that I don't waste a drop. You know, it goes really so. Yeah. It's it's generating more. I do more. It grows, and then. That dynamic energy is yeah. really beneficial. More you do, to us and others. others. Yeah. You just keep. Yeah. Just and keep then, swimming. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then with that uh, process of, of painting the contemporary and um, say, doing all that, what I told you, you know, look at yourself, trust the process, you know, and then people wanting to learn that too. So I, I didn't learn from somebody, it was really just kept. So I started teaching also what I call the intuitive process, so in, in uh, painting through intuition but also giving a lot of uh, studying symbology, so giving symbols, giving a new calligraphy, a new out, it's kind of codes of your own self, right. you put a, so while I teach the intuitive process, it's not only a uh, close your eyes, it's not, you know, it's really, uh, we talk about symbols, there are some techniques of going, so th this I've been doing. So you're evolving it from technique, instead yeah. of more working with opening yeah. up, yeah. That so it's together, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So in the end, while you're opening yourself, in the end you have a beautiful painting. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, so we just yeah. did a, a slow art workshop here in yeah. Serpa. There was a gallery yeah. of art, some of the dancers the slow there, art. the yeah. festival. And, and at this, this was very nice because you worked through the process of getting actually authentically in touch mm -hmm. with your presence in part by mm -hmm. facing others mm -hmm. and mirroring with others eye to eye and how this brings us back to our authenticity mm -hmm. and then you create. Yeah. And that goes again not in this, the, the yeah. self 
creation in terms of self being this whole surface energy and thoughts, but coming to a place of authenticity where it comes through you, it is as you, but you don't own it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you explain. So the the really the slow it art. It's it's, it's a mold uh, I did with uh, all the teachers I I learned with, and basically slow art. I not even know how to call it because it's only in the last fifteen minutes we actually paint. But it's the whole intention of this workshop, the slow art workshop is to, to prove how important it is the artist to be present mm -hmm. in its body. So, you know, just the meditative thing and then to open, which is the eye contact. Yeah. You open and then you create. If you if you are not present, if you are not open with your heart and with yourself, then it's not authentic. Then you are imitating something which you think is pretty. Then yeah. it's appearance. Then creating appearance. Yeah, and decoration. And decoration. So then the, this, this short process is just to, to really, to, to the person feel its body. You are here and it's not your hands painting, it's your body. It's right, this is what you're painting. Really. So right. it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a proof in two hours, you know. A person goes into this process and then kills. So a lot of people come out to me and say, oh, I love to paint, but I, I, I love. I would love to learn how to paint, but I don't know. I'm so bad at saying. Yeah, no, it's not about so that. It's getting through that the yeah. excuse, the hesitation, yeah. which is just which is yeah, yeah, and also saying uh, art is about being pretty or not. So we still have so much to understand about that. Mm -hmm. So then to come to 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 final comments now with all these workshops going on and a lot of people wanting to to learn. Uh, in a way, uh, I would call focus art, you know, in, into into the path. So my partner and I, we started building this uh, retreat center. So I it's was, an art I center. I was about to close. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to the lab where they're preparing this, yeah. and some, it's an yeah. amazing place yeah. with much potential. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so yeah. top top of the mountain is just like an hour from São Paulo, so it's easy to go there. You, the nature up in the mountain. Mm -hmm. And then there we are building this, this uh, it's on top is our house, down the floor is all open space. So the idea is, and there is also the land of my parents, so we already have accommodations. Yeah. Uh, simple dormitories but and a temple, so it's, it's a place to receive people. And then, so this center we'll call Yap Yung Art Center, because the Yap Yung is the mother and father, female yes. and male. Yeah. And because it was um, the encounter with my partner, so it's more or less I had the dream and he had the, the funds. Uh -huh. And you know, and he, 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 we were so happy doing that. Yeah. And he, now in October we will... The vision and the earth, yeah, you yeah. have the sea. Yeah, yeah, so it's really, and, and, I, and then I had the guess that creativity is also a meeting. It is, I mean, that, that's why also it's easy to create while it's friction. Because something is generated when it, it happens then. But it can happen also for dance, and it can happen in many ways. So this is Yap Yum, is this meeting. And this meeting generates art, generates creation, and, and it creates life. I mean, it's the essence yeah. of reality, it's the essence. every moment. Yeah, you know, every that's moment. That's what's yeah. happening. It's yeah. Yap Yum, Yap Yum, Yap Yum, Yap Yum. Yeah. Because yeah. quite often when people yeah. feel isolated, they feel yeah. this structure because yeah. in essence we yeah. are yab yeah, yeah. yeah. And we yeah. Have to, of course there can be an external context, yeah. but whether it's art, a partner, yeah. 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 one's work, one's path, yeah. at some yeah. point there's, you know, there's this autonomy yeah. and there's this engagement. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's just yab 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 So that, that's the intention. Fantastic. I didn't realize the name. Yeah. And I wanted to, to speak yeah. about this, why I, I wanted to close with this as yeah. well, because we see, thank you for sharing thank you. your, your thank path you. and story, because there's something in this about your story about serendipity and willpower, mm -hmm. about having to be humble and being yeah. ground down while being fearless and stepping forward with creativity and how it opened from, you know, being the first Westerner mm -hmm. and the first woman painting at Nova Linka, chance, mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. what you could say, yeah. until painting the first temple mm -hmm. in Brazil, yeah. to doing um, shows in Tibet mm -hmm. House, and, and now teaching. Mm -hmm. And having this all evolve, it just seems to be an energy that's mm -hmm. unfolding. Mm -hmm. And we found all the Dikini, and intent with founding Dikini's art, is that there's most 
our Sambhana world, you know, we're incarnated in this time, in our context, and somehow we become connected yeah. to our path. Yeah. And we bring this energy of creativity and try to find meaning where we um, both realize our path and we create a context to yeah. support others. Yeah. And that's an intent with Dikini is our, and through these inner dialogues, mm -hmm. we to open up some of the other stories yeah. and unique paths people yeah. come and you yeah. can help. Yeah open those, and then the vision is eventually to do mm -hmm. events where we do mm -hmm. collective exhibits mm -hmm. as well as collective workshops. Yeah. And when I first came to the land, mm -hmm. and it was just still yeah. being built then, I just saw so much of the yeah. prospect of a space. I, yeah. That I really hope it could be, uh, how to say, like a, a reference for, for Dakini also. Yes, mm -hmm. for many to come for who feel this. For many to come and to share, because that, the idea of the place is to invite teachers with the same uh, same kind of art, traditional or or contemporary yeah. painting or dancing or even meditation, uh, to to be a place of that. It's a it's a place to to learn the arts of that uh, that evolves consciousness. Mm -hmm. This is the focus. So like Dakini, it's about that. The Dakini project yeah. is all about that. You know, it's all the artists all which about. has this focus. So I hope that. Uh, this year we will have the first Tanka retreat there mm -hmm. in October. Fantastic. Uh, it's still, we are, we are now making the floor yeah. and also I hope in right. October it will be real, the yeah. first retreat. I know how that and one goes. Yeah, it's we coming, like, the baby's it's coming. coming. Yeah, I hope everything. Yeah. Yeah. And people are saying, wow, it's going to be that. It's, it's a beautiful place. And then the idea is somehow bring teachers, master from, mm -hmm. from foreign countries because Brazil needs I, I like people who are in the source, so we mm. do bring people. I don't know how we're going to make that to bring, yeah. but it will. I, mean, I feel will unfold, and, and likewise, there's things yeah. people for yeah. Brazil. I myself, it's been almost, at that point, four years now, we're five years working on Yogini, Pratikini, and so on. And this last year, I just I started running out of gas. Yeah, yeah. And I came to Brazil to do retreat yeah. and just return to the earth, yeah. and I wound up at this land, yeah. so I could feel that. Yeah. What happened to Virginia? I think what's very beautiful in sharing this not only the aspiration I had to bring together artists and inspire mm -hmm. artists, mm -hmm. and this space being created, mm -hmm. um, but likewise for people who are viewing, as came mm -hmm. out in your stories, like we could think, I can't be an artist. I'm mm -hmm. not an artist. But as you see, there's actually all those. It's the same thing. I can't be mm -hmm. a Buddha. Yeah. You think yeah. of ones like yeah. Dogo Kensei, yeah. Rinpoche's ultimate. How could yeah. I be? But ultimately. Yeah. That yeah. potential is there, yeah. and yeah. eventually that awkwardness and that doubt, uh -huh. we can stay on this side uh -huh. and we can move through. And yeah. so beyond a fulfillment of aspirations mm -hmm. that you have had, I have had, others have had, mm -hmm. in terms of the artist to be able to really share, I hope for many people mm -hmm. who whether aspiring to be artists mm -hmm. or not even believing they could ever yeah. be, that this could be fulfilled. Uh, a space and context, these projects, this space of a place of fulfillment in ways that we haven't even yeah. believed possible. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really aspire that. Yeah. So, and I wish you yeah. um, all yeah. serendipity yeah, I think. and foremost mm -hmm. blessings. And, and I that. wish the same. Yeah.